Hello everyone, today is Stable Diffusion new breakthrough news and a tutorial about new extension that just released. The Hotshot XL are now available for Stable Diffusion Automatic 11.11. Yes, as we are all waiting for extension like Animate Diff that support SDXL. Now you can do it with Hotshot XL Automatic 11.11 extension. This extension do not have much information on their GitHub page at this moment. There are only installation instruction steps. As I have reviewed the GitHub page in Anyate Diff, they have also mentioned about Hotshot XL in the content. An AI industry is moving so fast. Just beginning of November, the Hotshot XL released their extension for Automatic 11.11. So I have just installed already in my Automatic 11.11 setup. And yes, it required Web UI Restart to make it effective. But before that, we need to download Hotshot XL animation model files first. Let's switch the screen to Windows. And I go through setup and install model files process here. So first, we are going to create a folder called SDXL in Web UI. Models folder, stable diffusion folder path. Remember to use folder name SDXL. Now we need to download the spatial layers and temporal layers models from Hugging Face. I will put the link to this GitHub page in the video description. And for more details, I will post them on our website. You can download the SDXL512 model file into the SDXL folder that we just created. Then. Navigate to the extension folder and go to the subfolder of the Hotshot XL extension in the model folder. Save this folder path for the download of the temporal layers model file from Hugging Face. Simply click on this download link and save it in the folder path. Now, let's return to the Automatic 11.11 web UI. After downloading and installing the extension, go to the Extensions tab and click on Restart UI. After restarting the web UI and completing the download of the two model files, we can start experimenting with the Hotshot XL extension and SDXL models. Scroll down the page in the Text to Image tab and you'll find the Hotshot XL section. Open the section to access all the animation settings for using this extension. This model is trained with SDXL but outputs at 512 pixels. However, I've tested it and it can output at 10 to 24 pixels, of course, if your hardware can handle it. You'll also find the temporal layer model file here. Let's click Enabled and we'll write some prompts to generate GIF animations. Also, you can check their Hugging Face model page where they explain how to fine tune it to use SDXL while still running at 512 pixels. Now, I'm going to use my recent favorite SDXL model, the SDXL Unstable Diffusers Yamer Mix. Let's work with this image of the Joker. I'll try this text prompt to create a GIF animation with Hotshot XL. Yes, it's working. Um, even SDXL based models from Civitai are compatible. This means we can use SDXL's style text prompts in a natural sentence way to create images. Remember when we discussed using ChatGPT to generate animation story scenes? Now, I think using SDXL to handle this means we don't have to spend time rewriting the ChatGPT script into Stable Diffusion 1.5's style text prompts. SDXL can handle natural sentences. This will streamline the process for people who want to use Stable Diffusion to make AI animation story videos. This is my first generation with this extension, and I want to show how fast we can create one animation. So, I won't fast forward this process this time.
Okay, the Joker is here. How cool is that? Uh, let's try to make some zombie video scenes. And uh, I am going to make some movement for the character. Okay, the result is uh, reasonable for this simple prompt. And I want to uh, try to make the character running. Uh, it works as well. In, uh, and then in this recording, uh, I try to make some other animations. For example, create animation for the Greek god, Poseidon, and make some water moving. There you go, pretty nice. Once I optimize the prompt and add more detail, it will be good. And then a dancing animation. Great. Now, you guys have concern, does it work with reactor face swap? And I have tested it. Check out the command prompts windows. The reactor face swap step in after animation created. And yes, it works. So there you have it. The Hotshot XL Automatic 1111 Web UI Extension Support SDXL models to create animation in stable diffusion. There are still a lot more to try out with this extension, like the frame rates and uh, maximum length for the number of frames. And I will try to push the limit and record for upcoming videos. So try it out on Automatic 1111. Hope the installation setup guide can you help to get started. Until then, I will see you in the next video. Have a great day.